Hello my beautiful people, welcome to your weekly general horoscope with me Raphael from Radiant Reality. It's an absolute pleasure to have you, thank you so much for being here, thank you so much for joining me. So these notes, uh, these notes, quick note, these readings are for everybody. This is like a weekly general of the over and overarching energy trends and themes that we're likely to experience over the week and this is all led and informed by my intuitive message uh, so before i go into these readings i will sit with my intuition and i will ask uh, to see something that we need to know some intuitive message uh, sometimes it's a symbol sometimes it's like a full-on picture uh, sometimes it's like a mini movie it just kind of depends on what the uh, upstairs department are ready willing and able to give at the time and probably how well I'm receiving at the day. Um, all right, with that said, I would like to bless all of my decks of cards with all forms of love, light, peace, prosperity, and abundance. And I pray that the messages that come through are ultimately clear and concise. They help us all on our paths to our highest vibrational good. So this week, the intuitive message was, in the balance, you realize that nothing is certain, right? And I, I know it kind of seems like an oxymoron. Um, what I saw was uh, a, a literally like a balancing beam. And then I saw a, uh, a yin yang, right? And it was made of red and black instead of white and black. And what I took from that was um, that in when you when things truly are balanced, you realize that actually there is nothing that's certain. There's nothing that's promised, whether that's today, tomorrow, uh, good health, like whatever it is. And that might sound doom and gloom, but the truth of the matter is it's really not. It's just a picture of how things exactly are. And the beauty of this as well is uh, if nothing is truly certain, then that means that what we think is the worst case scenario is also not a certain outcome. No matter how bleak things look at, you know, at face value or at first glance, the message is that while that may seem certain, that's just this, right? The noggin doing what it's supposed to do to amplify the threat to keep you safe. However, when you can look past that and see the true balance of everything that we are experiencing, of everything that is unfolding at any moment in time, that's when you truly move into the space of uh, acceptance and when you move into the space of acceptance you're already on your path to enlightenment because you can allow what is to be and therefore you move into the synchronistic flow of all things now that being said it's never easy right <laughs> to, to be when you're in the midst of turmoil or your tower moment has hit or one of them because we have many in a lifetime okay tarot has spoken um, yeah, look at that. Tarot has definitely spoken. We have the Hierophant card. And the Hierophant card has been very active over the last few weeks, of course, right? With everything that's going on in the, in the wider world and on the wider world stage, it makes sense that the Hierophant is active because a lot of what's considered the PTB in terms of human life or society or the structures of society, the oligarchical nature of society is starting to change, it's starting to shift. And we, the people at the bottom that make up that society are starting to dictate more of what we want and more of what we need. It's gonna be a very interesting week. That being said, on a more personal microcosmic level, this is a week for you to, again, check in with what you are doing with your rituals. Where is it that you feel in some way, shape or form, especially this week, where do you feel that life is initiating you? What is the process of initiation? It's to mark the end of one thing and the beginning of new knowledge. The insert, um, uh, yeah, the insertion of you into a new way of being or a new way of doing things right so whatever you've been preparing yourself for up until this moment now you're going to start to cross that threshold right so this week it's very likely oh yeah <laughs> I just got a, an image of stepping over a, a doorway stepping over or through a threshold of some sort so whatever happens this week you are going to be changed for it and that's the whole process or point of initiation, right? So you do all of your rituals, you do all of the things and the preparation that you need to, to get to a certain point, and then you take an initiation, which is, it's not an exam, it's a realization. 
it's an inserting of and connection or union with a new understanding, a new way of being, a new sense of wisdom. This is stepping over the threshold into something new and a culmination of whatever your rituals, uh, ideas, knowledge base, all of that, it all comes together to form something new, to change you, to mark you stepping out of, let's say as, a, as an example, as a rite of passage, uh, stepping out of childhood into adulthood, right? So in some way, shape or form, although this isn't the world card, this is a week for graduation and initiation. All right, for your direction cards, how we best utilize this or tap into it, what we may need to be aware of. All right, and we have hmm, the Four of Cups, right? So stepping out of your melancholy this week is gonna be really important. And more importantly, I will say this, um, you may find that something this something this week, you may find that something that you've relied on or have seen a certain way or has been a certain way for a certain amount of time uh, may very quickly change for you this week. So keep your, you know, keep your eye on that. Then you've got the Seven of Cups. Okay, so not the easiest of cards. This would be a really good week for you to streamline and let go of the superfluous. And then finally, we've got the death card, right? So this is a week of completions, culminations, and endings. The death card is number four, uh, th number 13. One and three gives you four. You've got the four of cups here as well. That's two fours. Two fours represents insomnia. This is definitely a week where uh, sleep may be elusive. Kind of makes sense because we've got a full moon this week as well. The death card coupled with the seven of cups in a lot of ways, I kind of feel that this may be, um, on the wider world stage, I have to talk about this, this may be that we, uh, you know, and I really hope that I'm wrong on this front, it may be that we see a, uh, a death by overindulgence of some sort, um, it could potentially be that this is something like an overdose or maybe a drug overdose or, you know, that kind of thing where somebody's, uh, you know, done something to excess and it kind of gets the better of them. I'm really sorry for that heavy message, but it is there because we've got the Hierophant card here as well. I do wonder if this is going to be somebody that we either look up to or, you know, uh, somebody that is certainly in the larger world public eye in some way. Now, on a more microcosmic level, this is definitely not a week to overindulge, all right? I'm just gonna say it flat out. Um, if you're a drinker, if you're a smoker, if you like party favors, any and all kinds, uh, I'm not gonna sit here and say in my youth I didn't experiment with my consciousness many a time. Uh, however, just with the astrology that's happening this week and these this mix of cards, I would say whatever your poison is, this is not a week to overindulge with it. Um, even, you know, obviously I'm not saying that everybody that takes any sort of form of substance or whatever is gonna die. I'm just saying that you may get more than you bargained for with it. Uh, even if it's something that you've done a lot of previously, you, you might not have the same experience that you're expecting this time around. Now, that being said, on the lighter note, if you can find one with this combination of cards, how you can use these in terms of your initiation, this is very much Dark Knight of the Soul stuff. It's quick, it's short, it's sharp, but it is going to be intense. And that's something that is very much gonna be present. I feel like this is a healing crisis, if I'm completely honest with you. It's one of those moments of realization where things get really, really intense, really, really quickly, and then all of a sudden they give way. And there's that little pop <laughs> shows up from time to time. So I'm taking that to, to be the case. I think I know what this is for myself. It's uh, a certain fear that I have, I think is gonna reach fever pitch this week. And uh, I'm looking forward to that, fun times. All right, for our insight cards, things that we might need to see or know from behind the scenes that may be shaping up in places or spaces that we can't see. We've got the Six of Pentacles, all right? So underneath the Hierophant card, this is a lot more of the aid work that's happening on the wider world stage that will continue. I think we're gonna see a massive outpouring of this. Now, 
I'm debating whether to say this, but I have a voice, I have a platform, and if I don't use it at least sometimes for things that matter, um, it's probably, you know, I know I'm gonna get a lot of backlash from what I'm about to say, but I'm gonna say it anyway. If we can all rush to the aid of uh, a nation that is currently having challenges and issues now, uh, we can surely forgive some of the debts of other countries in the world who are still living underneath them. Isn't that a question to ponder at this moment in time? And I truly hope that these two may maybe open up that conversation. Uh, for the Ten of Wands with the Hierophant card, this is in fact, I mean, that's quite interesting. And then we've got the Mother of Cups, which is actually the Queen of Cups. So the Insight cards are basically saying that we're gonna continue to see an outpouring of love, um, but that's likely to amplify. With that Ten of Wands, um, I'm just gonna say straight up, this may very well be a week where we see more divide uh, between people on the ground about what their beliefs are and how they put them into practice. The other thing with the Queen of Wands, because it's a universal significator of women, um, this with the Ten of Wands and the Six of Pentacles could be uh, the repealing of a law that uh, targets women in some way, shape or form. So I wonder if this is, you know, we had that whole thing with uh, the women in Texas and stuff like that. I wonder if this is something like that is about to be revised. It will be interesting to see how it plays out on the wider world stage. And um, on a more personal level, um, the insight cards are really asked because they're informed by the Hierophant, right? So the insight cards are really asking you to look at where you can extricate yourself from uh, larger systems and or uh, bigger structures. For some of you, this may also be a time where you start to look into ways of learning that are going to uh, allow you to help change or adapt some of the things that you either see that you don't agree with or that you don't like. Um, interesting messages this week and uh, I'm, you know, I, I will say no more because it does all seem to be very much uh, jacked into the wider world stage this week and you guys know me, I tend not to get into any of that stuff because it's divisive by its very nature. I'll be interested to see how much backlash I get in the comments, <laughs> but hey ho, this is me, right? Um, with that said, I wish you all an abundance of all of that good stuff. Have a fantastic week. Let me know in the comments how it shapes up. Take care and I'll see you soon.